Hey you guys, it is Charlotte and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is Saturday and this is this video is actually going up really late because I have been staying up until 2 a.m. trying to study for school and doing homework and everything. Um, but I did want you to come on here and do the sinking funds. We're not going to do the full video like we usually do every other Saturday with me, you know, telling you what, um, what bills I'm going to pay and everything. But so we are going to be stuffing our sinking funds and we're going to be stuffing our cash envelopes because I know y'all do enjoy that. Um, before we get started, make sure you go and subscribe down below and hit that notifications. I would absolutely love for you to come and join my family on here and watch me count money. Um, I'm thinking about doing a grocery haul this week. And yeah, so if you like any of those, and I also do um, challenges, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would absolutely love for you to join, like I said. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and do our cash envelopes. So our cash envelopes, we only have groceries and gas. So we did have a couple of dollars left. So we have a $5 from groceries. And then we had $10 from gas. So the $15 right here is actually going to be going towards our little envelope that I have right here for the 52 week challenge, the budget mom challenge, just so we can have money to stuff that. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So we have $32. And I usually try to get $52 because I have not knocked out the 52 number on the 52 week challenge so i always have to make sure they have 52 dollars and then the budget mom is usually whatever dollar bills is in my cash envelopes all right so we are going to be doing 60 dollars for groceries as always 240 60. okay and then we are going to be doing gas which is 60 as well 20, 40, 60. And that is it for our cash envelopes. Now we are going to be moving on to our sinking funds. And I'm going to use my blue little marker. So this is the paper mate, I think. The paper mate this is what I use to write my notes for school. Absolutely love it, you guys. All right, so. For wedding, we are actually going to be putting $160. Now, this $160 is actually from Jared. Jared had gave me $100 last week, last paycheck, but it was kind of late. Um, I was going to include it. Let's see. I was going to include it last time we did a cash envelopes, but he gave it to me late. So we are going to include it this time. And then he just, we just got paid and he usually does give me another $100, but we actually went to, uh, um, rent his tux out and when we had to do that well it's not rented yet but we made an account and all other stuff and put all the groomsmen in there and i think they require like a 40 dollar um fee just to hold it and then afterwards after everybody after all the groomsmen pays for their suits then jared can either get a free suit and they will return it back or, or return the money back or if the all the or if like six people do not um, get their tuxes rented at men's warehouse, then they then that forty dollars will go towards Jared's total if that makes sense. Okay, medical and car is going to be getting ten dollars each, and I do have an oil change coming up, and I have a doctor's appointment coming up next week. College is going to be getting five dollars. I need to take my uniform to the dry cleaners. Christmas is not going to get anything. Renewal is not going to get anything. Home is going to be getting $5. Vacation is going to be getting $15. Dobby is going to get $5. Special occasion is going to be getting $20. And then I always forgot to put beauty. And that is going to get nothing perfect all right so i have all of the money laid out right here so we're just going to go ahead and count so i usually put this out of the way 
just so I can write for y'all and everything so y'all can actually see the full thing. So wedding is usually always going to be last. We're going to count that last. Medical is going to be getting $10. So we have 100, 240, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So $180, which is good. Let's see. Next is going to be car maintenance. Car maintenance is getting ten dollars. Okay, we have one, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, thirty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, four. So we have four hundred dollars on car maintenance, which is really good. That's probably like the most I've ever stuffed my car maintenance. Like, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Which is really good because you never know what's going to happen to your car. Even if it's a good one or an old one. Um, special occasion, we're going to drop down to special occasion, which is $20. Okay, so we have two, forty, sixty, eighty-one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So we have $191, which is great. And if you are new to my channel, the, hundred and, the $191 or the special occasion envelope is for my sister-in-law's wedding, my future sister-in-law's sister wedding. It's Jared's um, sister who is getting married in September, a couple of weeks before uh, Jared and I are. So um, I am in her wedding, and so I have to buy the gown and everything else. All right, college is going to be $5.00. 5, 10, 15, and 16, so I have $16. Christmas is not going to get anything, but we will go ahead and count it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92. So $92, and plus I have like $230. In Ibotta, so that is really good. Renewals, not going to get anything, so because we are fully funded. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90. So it's $190. Let's see. House is going to be getting $5. So that's 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 657. So $57. Vacation is going to be getting $15. So that is actually, let's do the dollar bills. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So $210, which is great. Trying to get probably $400 for Disney, I think. I feel like I should do more, but I don't know. <laughs> what do you think is a good amount for a three-day? We're leaving Thursday, so we'll be at Disney Friday, Saturday. So let me know what is a good amount to save. Which I'm usually pretty good about it, but I just don't know, really. Alright, so Dobby got $5, so we have 20 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. So they have $55 for Dobbs, who is literally under my feet right now. <laughs> And then Beauty is getting nothing, and we have 20 25 and 26 so $26. All right, so last, we are going to be counting the wedding fun, and the wedding is going to be getting 100 50 55 and 60 Let's go ahead... It's going to be an odd number because, let's see, two, 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 two. Yep, so we got to fix that real quick before we count. Alright, I think everything is good. I need to turn these into $100 bills. All right, so let's go ahead and count the wedding. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, six. 2, 40, 60, 81, 7, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So we have $26 right there. All right, 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Alright, so we have $1,726 for wedding. I am going to be making another deposit um, for the wedding photographer, I believe, in a couple of weeks. And then we will finish paying off the venue. I still need to look for a DJ. There is so much stuff we're about to do. And we are less than 177 days until we get married. So that is super exciting. It's very stressful because I'm in school and everything and planning this wedding. But we are going to get through it, you guys. We'll make it. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it. That is our sinking funds, just strictly our sinking funds today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like the sinking funds separate because I used to do that um, a long time ago when I first came back. I did the sinking funds on Saturday, and then on Fridays I did the budgeting, like what my bills and everything, and then I did my cash envelope stuffing um, on that Friday. So it was kind of separate. But let me know if you like this separate or you like it still all together. Just let me know. Anyways, I hope y'all have a great weekend and I will see you guys later. Bye.